Good day, mga mental health advocates. So, uh, what will we talk about today? Okay, we will talk about mental health tips to cope during the pandemic. So, what are the things you have to do in order to overcome the impact of COVID-19? So, these are the tips. So, again, I'm Dr. Evony Lambito Alisa Devesa, your psychiatrist. So top 10 things to do to improve your brain's health. So what are these? Okay, brain diet. So yung mga vegetables, fruits na kinakain nyo in order to have a healthy body can also give you a healthy mind. So other than fruits and vegetables, no green leafy vegetables, you can also eat avocado, walnuts, berries. These are actually um, a very healthy food in order to improve your brain's health. So, if available sa inyo or you can just buy it, no, in the mall, groceries, no, in order for you to have a healthy mind. Next one is brain games. If you are actually playing games, no, in your computer, in your laptop, your cell phone, then might as well, um, you know, uh, upload, okay, or, you know, things that can help others to have a mentally healthy body, okay? And also, you can upload app, okay, download apps in order for you to have games that can improve your brain self, improve your concentration and memory. So, other activities, you can just um, play chess or memory games. Okay, Sudoku so can actually help you also improve your brain self. So, another one, number three, is brain supplement. So, uh, have brain supplements that can help you have a healthy brain. So, what are those? No, For example, ginkgo biloba. Okay? It can help you have a healthy brain. Uh, supplement can actually be add-ons to your um, brain diet. But it is also essential to have a very healthy brain. Okay? So, other than that is to have an exercise. Because if you move your body, you actually... Okay? Um move your brain so your your brain functions if you do exercises or you have movements okay just movement of your hands okay um avoid sedentary lifestyle those a uh, lifestyle na tumitingin ka lang sa laptop sa cellphone mo whole day no or more than three to four hours in a day okay so hindi naman healthy yung screen time no more than three to four times okay so aside from exercises okay you can do um again you can do exercise no um at least three times a week no you can just do example brisk walking it's already a good exercise no at least 30 minutes to an hour at least three times a week okay um protect uh your brain of course you have to protect your pain so Avoid uh, falling or charring or, you know, hitting um, your head in the wall, no? Um, it's actually not healthy. So, you have to protect your brain. Actually, studies shows that um, the more you protect your brain, the more, uh, of course, healthy your brain is. And um, it can help you to have a, a mentally healthy body, okay? Okay, protect your brain, of course. And then next is positive peer group. Okay, if they say a uh, supportive family can help you mentally, then supportive friends, positive peer group actually um, not only gives you um, good influence, of course, it also um, helps you to have a mentally healthy brain. Next one is clean environment. Clean environment also help you to have an organized um, you know, mindset, um, thoughts in order for you to have a, a good memory concentration and a healthy brain. So, you can have a good decision uh, making skills. Next one is sleep. Sleep is very vital. So, it's one of the physiologic needs, okay? You must have at least 6 to 8 hours a day of sleep because um, it helps you to be uh, healthy mentally and also physically so sleep at least six to eight hours a day okay um, one of the reasons there is uh, the occurrence of um, postpartum depression 
is due to this uh, difficulty in sleeping or um, you know having difficulties with regards to sleep because of attending to your baby okay so new learnings okay you have to have a new learning so what can uh, what that do I mean to have a new learning so meaning if you are already aware of the things that you do um, like for example if you are um, used to doing things like uh, reading about math, science, um, other subjects, then maybe you can also do things, um, new things, like learning a skill or sports or any games or anything that can help you improve your health or uh, mental health. Okay, so have um, new learning, okay? New, new learnings, okay? Learn new things, okay? It can help you mentally. And next one is stress management. Okay, stress management is very important. And I have a video in my YouTube channel that you can um, watch um, in order for you to manage your stress. Of course, stress is inevitable. So there are a lot of problems in the world. There are a lot of problems in at home, in your school, or with your colleagues or friends. So stress is inevitable, but you can manage it. Okay, so how can you manage stress? So at accept things you cannot change okay don't try to control the uncontrollable like force majeure um floods uh of course the rain you know nature uh fire any about nature you cannot control it but um you have to accept it okay so for example the opinions of other people your friends the opinions of your teachers the opinion of your colleagues um if you have difficulty controlling your thoughts, how much more controlling the thoughts of other people? Okay, you cannot control it. Um, look for the upside, okay? Everything has an advantage and disadvantage. So look uh, at the advantage of things. So, for example, COVID-19. Um, others say that uh, COVID-19 or the pandemic helped them to build a good relationship with their loved ones and also um, develop new skills and it is also healthy for the environment okay so look at the upside okay the brighter side of life okay share your feelings of course you have to note of your feelings and emotions you have to know um you have to recognize your emotions don't don't stop it don't block it you have to recognize it for you to move on okay so if you're angry or you are sad okay recognize it for you to be able to express it and handle it uh, more effectively okay next one is to learn to forgive uh forgive about your mistakes uh the, the mistake of other people okay um there's no one on earth who is perfect so always remember there are things that you you cannot control there are things that uh, uh always commit mistakes there are things that is not really perfect okay so have fun and relax okay stress management is uh very helpful so really have fun and relax even you're you're at home so have fun learning new things okay set aside relaxation time so if there is uh online classes or modules then um set aside like 30 minutes on our um doing your le leisure activities your hobbies your sports at home so you can do it so just have fun and relax okay next one is connect with others so connect with your friends your family members or your relatives and other people that makes you feel happy okay you connect with them so if it's not visible face to face you can do it online okay so um connect with other people we are social beings okay we need to interact okay it's really healthy for us mentally so next one is do something you enjoy so if you enjoy drawing listening to music singing dancing so do that okay if you enjoy it okay don't pressure yourself for things that you're not enjoying okay so do something you enjoy next one is keep your sense of humor okay humor is actually a mature uh, ego defense mechanism so have a humor in uh, in you so find that humor no if you're if you're not innately um humorous person then i think you also have to watch um uh movies uh that as that was really like uh 
ridiculous, funny, okay? Uh, or watch anything that can make you laugh, okay? So, have fun and relax. So, relaxation activities. You can also do breathing meditation. So, I also have prepared uh, a video about breathing meditation in my uh, channel that you can watch, no? It's about um, focusing on your breath in order for you not to be distracted with the things, problems, or worries that lingers in your mind, okay? So, um, focus on your breathing. So, uh, para maka, ano, maka focus ka din, maka concentrate ka, and uh, also to manage your anger or any stressful activities, no, or things that can make you feel bad about yourself. Progressive muscle relaxation. So, ang tinatawag dito yung mga stress balls, no, um, use your voluntary muscles in order for you to feel na you in, you are in control so progressive muscle relaxation body scan meditation which is uh, not usually used no mindfulness okay mindfulness is focus uh, about what you're doing okay if you're brushing your teeth okay focus na nagbabrush ka lang ng teeth if you're reading focus ka lang sa read mo wala nang ibang iniisip okay so mindfulness Visualization meditation, usually athletes do it, no? For how many years of their, their training, they imagine the things that uh, will happen in the future and uh, they are successful, they, they, um, they achieve their goals to have a gold medal, something like that. So successful people also use this visualization meditation. So they visualize the things that they want to happen at that very moment, okay? So in the future, like future successes okay yoga and tai chi okay you can also do yoga okay relaxation activities so adapt a healthy lifestyle exercise regularly at least three times a week um like 30 minutes an hour uh, start with brisk walking you can do also jogging okay eat a balanced diet okay brain diet is very important and also brain supplement reduce caffeine and sugar of course our body consumes uh, sugar uh, and our brain actually uses it but um, excess is not helpful to our body and our mind okay so avoid caffeine and sugar next one is to avoid alcohol cigarettes and drugs of course uh, they can be at first stimulants or um, can make you sleep but then later on it affects your body not only physically but mentally so avoid alcohol cigarettes and drugs okay it can also produce anxieties depression and uh, later on psychosis okay so avoid those substances get enough sleep at least six to eight hours a day so be emotionally healthy during covid19 pandemic so safety first of course we have to do social distancing wear face mask and face shield always sanitize our hands and um if you're uh strolling in the mall or going outside to buy essential things then uh, when you go home, okay, so you sanitize your body, okay, you you um you have to take a bath. Next one is to connect with family and friends, which I actually in, uh, mentioned a while ago. So through text or through call, okay, recognize your feelings, okay, don't stop or block those feelings. Recognize and accept that you uh, feel it, okay. We cannot actually dispute or challenge those feelings we can only dispute or challenge our thoughts okay so pray okay so uh, we cannot control a lot of things in this world but our um almighty god can help us okay so pray for the safety of your friends your families and teachers colleagues okay so set routine schedule um anxiety for so for for those who are experiencing anxiety no um having a schedule it makes you feel in control okay so have a routine schedule it uh, makes you feel relaxed and uh, less stress and anxious okay so set a routine schedule like for example eight o'clock um you're reading a book or uh, jogging at seven o'clock um and then lunch at 11 or 12 o'clock okay so recognize symptoms of anxiety and depression okay i have a video about anxiety and depression so watch those videos for you to know what are the signs and symptoms uh, of those people who have anxiety and depression 
So, if you have questions, so feel free to contact me. Okay, Dr. Ebony Lambito Alisa Diversa. And you can actually visit my YouTube channel, Doc Von Psychiatrist, for me to help you. Okay, during pandemic, um, it's really helpful for us to know the things that we must do um, in order to overcome any uh, problems in life. So, um, pray, um, always have faith in God, be with your family, friends, okay? We must help each other during this pandemic. So, take care. Um, keep safe. God bless. Thank you.